I wanted to show my face before I hit stop video. Um, but my computer is super slow. And when I have a video on, it tends to process really slowly. So I'm going to shut the video off because I don't want you to see me. It's just because of technical reasons. <laughs> but i um, so excited to have everyone back. Good morning. Um, so my hope with this, as always, is to give you direction with your content to give you ideas of what to post with branding yourself as well as related to thrive and to, and then to also um just share new features that are coming out with social media um tips and tricks how to use certain features and why they are the way they are and to give you some ideas that you can utilize to help create and produce content so this is all centered around content um, I want to get started by saying that we're going to start off every single one of these with either a tip or information regarding social media, and then we'll go into day by day planning related to your niche and thrive and your stories and how they can all commingle together. So first I wanted to see, hopefully I can screen share. I wanted to give you a tool that you can use that will help you create content. Um, I think it's important for us to have various forms of content that are educating our audience, that are sharing a little bit about who we are, um, that are keeping people intrigued with what we're posting. And so multiple forms of content would look like video, of course, which is where everything is going. Um, posts, which would be like a picture of you with verbiage or captions. And then also like quotes or information that doesn't have a picture attached to it. And a way that I utilize this tool is through what's called carousels on Instagram or on Facebook. I'll use it as like a quote or something like that, that is related to my niche. So a carousel on Instagram, if you're unfamiliar, is when you have multiple slides in a post. So this can be multiple pictures. This can be multiple, like a like a, um, informational thing that step-by-step -step guides people through things. So I'm going to show you a tool that I use to create my carousels so that hopefully you can, carousel spelling is like C-A-R, it's not like an actual thing. It's just what Instagram calls when you have multiple slides of pictures. Um, don't ask me how to spell. <laughs> um, the, the reason it's like a carousel, I think of like a horse carousel that you see at like the fair and there's like multiple horses that go around. That's kind of the thought process around that. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to share my screen so I can show you this tool. It's called Canva. It is free. It is a tool that I use for lots of different things, um, but I'm going to show you specifically how I create carousels with them. And for me, my niche, I'll just share it with you so that you guys can get an idea of like why it is that I'm sharing this specific carousel that I'm doing. So my specific niche is living for his glory and motherhood, health and everything in between. So everything I post is either is always about I'm a faith-based person, so it's always about God. So it's guiding people through that, sharing my life in that, and then sharing why health is an important piece of that. But I will screen share, just like it sounds, I'm sure, right? Desktop. Oh, I hope this works. Can you guys see? So this is Canva. It is an app as well as a website. I use both um, on my phone and on my desktop, but I will show you, there's so many different things you can do it with this. I use this to create stories. I use this to create my posts. I use this to create Zoom announcements like the one for today. Hey um, Megan, I assume this is free. It is free, correct, yep which is awesome. I mean, there's like obviously different tools that fancy tools you can unlock if you have like a paid membership, but I don't, I personally don't even have a paid mem membership. So you, you don't need it. There's so many things that are available um, within it for completely a hundred percent free. So, um, so like, as you can see, there's like different templates you can use. 
these are my specific designs that I've used. So like I use to create like content for team pages, stuff like that. Um, but it's super user friendly. Like I would encourage you to download it, the app and to just like play around with it. But what I'm going to specifically focus on is utilizing it to create slides for a, um, a carousel. So I'll give you this one. So this is what a, a quote unquote carousel would be. It's going to take them. My computer is so stupid. <laughs> On my list for my birthday and my Christmas. <laughs> so like you can do different elements in this. You can put text, different types of text. You can put different photos. It gives you ideas of template on the side, which is amazing. Um, but like for myself, I'm sharing Bible verses because it's part of my niche. So like you could use this, like, let's say I'll just use Heather, for example, like her single mom tips. You could use this like five ways to whatever. And then in like each different slide, you would have one of the ways. So it keeps ways to get on. your kids out the door in the morning. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's such a good idea. So you could do like five ways to help expedite your kids out the door in the morning or whatever. And like one of them could be like prepare their snacks ahead of time. One of the slides could be um, set out their backpacks and shoes. Another one could be a different one, whatever. But the purpose behind this is there. there's multiple reasons why it's so smart to use this on Instagram. Because one, it keeps people on your post longer, which improves it in, in the algorithm, bumps it up in the algorithm. Another one is that Instagram will recycle this same post multiple times within your, within your um, followers feed. So for example, it'll show like the first one, let's say Jessica is scrolling her Instagram feed. It'll show like the first picture of the carousel to her that time in the beginning of the day or whatever. And then maybe she hops on at her lunch break at work. It will repopulate that same post, but show a different slide to her again, which is awesome. Um, so like maybe if she didn't interact with it, the first one, she'll interact with it the second time, but it also gives people the opportunity to see your post multiple times, which is super cool. So like for me, I just did, you can change the color of your background. You can add in elements. So like I have this little leaf cause I just wanted it to look aesthetically pleasing. You, you can search things, you can do squares and boxes. And like, if you're doing back to school stuff, like Heather gave the example of getting your kids out the door. You could like put like a little backpack in the corner as like something just to draw people's attention, something that's related to your um, niche or whatever. Um, but you can change the font, you can change the font color. There's hundreds of different types of fonts that you can use. Um, but like, so here I just created different slides. So like I use different Bible verses. And then every time I try to make sure that not on the first one, if it's like a heading, but at least on the subsequent following slides, I try to include my like little Instagram handle on the bottom. Because if you're using hashtags, which you should be using that are related to your niche on Instagram, then it will show up to people that don't necessarily follow you. So then it shows your little handle on the bottom. So, and then what I'll do, oops, I didn't mean to do that. What the heck? delete. What I'll do is like, if you want to create a duplicate slide, so you're not constantly recreating the same slide over and over. So like this, you can see it looks the same as you scroll through, but um, there's different quotes in there. Like if you want to keep the same elements in place, so you're not constantly playing with it, you can duplicate a slide and it'll just bring up another one that is exactly the same as the one prior and you can like go in and edit it and change what you want, but everything else looks the same. So this is a great, great, great tool that I've actually used for a really long period of time um, for multiple reasons, but this, you can use this to help create stories. 
like you don't see people that have like their picture and it looks like faded and they have text over it. You can use this for that. So click on create a blank Instagram story. Like so cool. There's so many different things in here. And I don't know why all of my things aren't showing up because my computer is slow. That's why. <laughs> but there we go. Just wanted to go through the comments. Yeah, it's so cool. Canva is the best tool ever for real though. Um, so I just want to like what I, my hope was with the Zoom now that we're going forward um, on a consistent basis is that I give you some sort of tool or information in the beginning of this. And then we go into planning your week. And my hope is to be done and wrapped up within an hour, a half hour to 45 minutes because it's Saturday and I understand people have busy, busy things. Yes. So then you would just like upload the picture into like the story template. Like it gives you the right size for a story, which is nice. So you would just upload the picture and then there's like a transparency slider and you would just make it transparent. And then you can either go on Instagram and like type it up on there and save it, or you can type it up on um, Canva and do it that way too. So now we are going to go day by day and I'm going to give you thrive ideas, niche ideas, niche is what is your specific topic that you are going to share information on, on a daily basis that helps keep community with you. And it just, that's the way that things are going. Like gone are the days of like, you just always posting about your products. People are like bored and done with that. They want information. They want use for their time. There are people like that I follow that are within my niche that I will sit and watch like video after video, scroll post after post to get more information from them. And that's like what we want people to do um, on our page. We want to be, we want to be encouraging of community. We want to be encouraging of providing value in this world. We want to um, bring together people that are like-minded within your niche. Like it just helps with so many different things. It helps take the guesswork of what I'm going to post every single day. Um, it helps me to pump up, pump out content so much faster. And it's what keeps people on your followers or on your friends list and what keeps them coming back and engaging with your stuff. And then, so when you, introduce thrive into like when you're talking about it in your stories or maybe you happen to go live and just share about what an order that you got or whatever like the people trust you because you've been providing them value for a period of time so when you're giving them information and providing them value when you come in and make a recommendation when it comes to your health or with your products that you're using it's going to make sense and people are going to wonder like what do you do for a job just because they're intrigued by like the person that you are. So we are going to start with Monday. So Monday for Thrive, people are tired. I'm going to try to give you the mindset of where your people are typically. If you haven't sat down and thought about like, who's the person that I'm trying to attract into my business or I'm trying to attract, I do have a zoom on this. If you want to go to my YouTube page, you could find it, but I think it's like creating your avatar or your ideal customer or promoter or something like that. It's labeled. Um, but this helps you understand like where, where are people mentally throughout the week? Where are they on a Monday or on a Tuesday? What is their thinking thought process? So Mondays people are tired. They're going back to work. Um, they had a busy week weekend school, you have to get their kids back in school, whether they're homeschooling or whether their kids are um, in the physical building in public school or private school, whatever you still, you, that's something that's on their minds. If they're parents, um, if they're working a job, they're thinking about getting back to work. So people are tired. So what I like to focus on on Mondays is highlighting your favorite product that gives you energy on a Monday. And so that can be the, if you love, like, if you feel like the capsules are that for you, like highlight that product in your stories or even like creating a small post about it. And if as much as you can tie it into the niche that you have. So I'll, I always keep pulling Heather, for example. Okay, honey. Um, 
I'm not calling you, honey. My daughter just told me that her TV paused and she needs me to play, press play. Um, as much as you can tie it in. So I'm going to use Heather, for example. If you can tie in why that product helps you as a single mother, even better. Um, uh, can't get it pulled up. There we go. Anyways. So as much as you can tie it in, that's what I like to do on a Monday for Thrive is because people need energy on a Monday. As far as your niche goes, making a post that is encouraging. So giving encouragement, encouraging advice in alignment with your niche. So this can be in the form of a carousel or a reel, which reels are also transitioning to Facebook as well. I do not have this feature on Facebook right now. And it makes me so mad because anytime any of the platforms rolls out a new feature, they pump that specific feature so much. So if you're in on it early, the chances of you growing organically super fast are much higher. So I'm like, can you just give it to me, please? Because like I have videos that I can repurpose from Instagram. <laughs> I can pump out on Reels on Facebook. So if you don't currently have it, just be patient. I'm assuming they're rolling it out slowly because my husband has it and my son has it, but I do not. And it makes me so mad. But anyways, what can we control, right? Yeah, it's awesome because people are getting super high numbers of views and I'm super jealous of you, Teresa. I'm just going to say. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> so you can do this on a, as a quote on Facebook if you don't have the Reels option <laughs> and you can use um, Canva in that way, <laughs> in that way to create like a carousel on your Instagram or to create a specific, like one singular quote on Facebook. Stories, show two times in your stories, one in the morning, one on, one at night about how Thrive is getting you through your day. So like maybe in the morning you're talking about like, you don't have to pretend like your life is perfect all the time as a thriver because that's unrealistic. So you can talk about like, I'm tired and it was really hard for me to get out of bed this morning. Thankfully I have these capsules so that um, I can get my kids ready on time or whatever. And then at the end of the day, like if you are, what your stories are meant to do is to guide people through your day and just give them like a backstage pass in your life a little bit. So if you're doing a good job of kind of like showing things here and there, what you're doing throughout your day. And then at the end, you're tying it in with like, this patch keeps me going all day. So try to highlight two times throughout the day that Thrive is helping you in your stories. Okay. Tuesday, it's our payday, of course. But here's the thing. Mentally, you got to think of where are people at with their finances and they don't let you see who's viewed your stories. That's weird. I don't know what that's about because I can see everybody that's, I think everybody that's viewed mine. And I'm just going to, oh yeah, I can see. Um, sometimes you can't see people if they don't, if they're not friends with you, but that's beside the point. So this last Friday was a payday for a lot of people because it was the yesterday was a payday for a lot of people because it's the 15th. I know like my husband got paid. A lot of people get paid like on the first, the 15th and the 31st or whatever, or two times a month, one in the beginning, one in the middle. So us talking about a paycheck right after they got paid might not be super efficient because they, they probably still have money in their bank account. Not all their bills have gone out, um, yada, yada. So what I think would be a better, um, a better thing would be to talk about one non-monetary related aspect you like about the business. So whether that's traveling, that's community, that's the, the friends you've met, maybe it's that it's built confidence within you, Something related to the business that is not attached to money, because a lot of people will come in for maybe the money and the paycheck, but a lot of people stay for other aspects outside of that. Because I always say this, like when you're beginning your business, you will do a lot of work sometimes and not show the compensation for it. So like what keeps people going in, the, in that stage of their business is the community, is the friendships that they've made, is the growth they're experiencing. So it's important for us to touch on that. 
And then later on, like you, you end up doing less work and you get paid a bigger paycheck. And sometimes you wonder like, how is this even possible? So it's important for us to highlight the non-monetary aspects of the business, because when people are in those beginning stages, sometimes you have to, like, it has to be something outside of the paycheck that keeps you through the planting stage of your business. So highlighting that part for me, it's, it's community for sure. I've met my best friends. I've made the best relationships within this business. Um, so that's just my personal perspective on that. Your niche post for Tuesday will be educate. So educating your audience, a fun fact, a tip, anything to educate them. This can be in any form that you want. It can be a picture. It can be a video with like steps in it. It can be another like a carousel. You don't typically want to do like two of the same type of posts on Instagram back to back. It just looks like cheesy. So like I try to keep it um, changed up and I'll do like a reel and then I'll do a picture of myself and then I'll do a carousel and then I'll do like maybe like a picture of my family and then I do like a reel, a carousel, a picture of myself, like just to keep it broken up a little bit because you don't want to have it like so consistent. So like if you on Monday made a, an encouragement to carousel, Tuesday, maybe you'll do um, like a video or maybe you'll do a reel or you could do like an IGTV or something like that. An IGTV is just like, I always explain it like it's like a series that you could do. Um, or it could just be a picture with like your caption starts with three tips to blah. And then you can just go into it. Anything to educate your audience. In your stories that day on Tuesday, talk about one of your three steps. Talk about your three steps. Use your, your face and your voice. People need to see what you look like. I looked like a hot mess this morning and I talked to my stories. I talked about how we were going to an apple orchard and I needed mood support because it's probably going to be busy. So that's necessary. Just make it relatable. Talk about like why it is that you use that. Maybe it can be like explaining how you make your shake. Maybe it can be um, why you love your capsule so much. Maybe it can be like something relatable that your patch is helping you with. Like my kids are driving me crazy and I need this. Or like yesterday I had a birthday party and I talked about there's no way I would have been able to get through planning my daughter's birthday and doing all the things without this patch. So talk in your stories. Wednesday, Thrive Related, piece of growth that Thrive has given, given you product or business related. So this can be, um, what's the growth you've experienced with your health? Um, maybe it's that you've started to exercise more. Maybe it's that you notice like your skin's clearing up. That's, that's a growth thing. Maybe it's that you've gained confidence because you just feel good every single day. Maybe it's that it just has allowed you to be more aware of the things that you're putting into your body as far as food goes. So like anything growth related that um, can be a product and then business, like maybe it's allowed you to step outside your comfort zone. Um, maybe you spoke in front of people for the first time. Maybe um, it's had you kind of reevaluate your priorities in life, like anything that's growth related with the products or the business. Talk on that. Um, niche related real about your personal story or a live video relating to your niche is what I would recommend. If you did a reel the day before, you can totally do another reel. Um, if you want, you can also do like a picture with a caption. Just be aware if you're doing a picture with a caption that you're picking the right time of day where people will actually take the time to read the caption. So 7 a.m. posting a post with a real a picture with a really long caption, probably not too efficient. People aren't going to read that. 8.30 at night, probably be a good time. So anything that is relating to your personal story, niche related. So like, you know, it can be, for me, it's like talking about like how my growth in faith. Um, I don't know. I always use Heather, I feel like. <laughs> 
It can be. It builds um, my confidence, Megan. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it can be uh, like for her, for like a single mom, it can be like how you're navigating personally, currently navigating um, single motherhood. You can, t- you can talk about trials. You can talk about happy things. It doesn't have to just be like this somber look at this thing I overcame. It can just be anything related to your personal story as, as far as um, related to your niche. <clears throat> Stories. Share information about a plus sign product and how it improves your health. So this can be, if you don't, I, and here's the thing. I am always hyper aware of the fact that some people don't have all the products. Like maybe you just have the three steps. Um, maybe you just have one of the steps because of your current financial situation and maybe you're not thriving for free, or maybe you did get credits, but your priority is getting customers added. So you didn't use them on yourself. Like I am always super hyper aware of that. Not, there is no blanket situation for every single person. Um, but you can go into the dream team page and there is like product pictures. You can utilize one of those and talk one about the, talk about one of the plus sign products that you would like to use, (laughs) or you can, um, have somebody come on and like tag you in their story. So then it shows up on your story. That's something that my team and I have been doing is tagging each other in our like three steps in the morning. But like, let's say you don't have a plus sign product to use. You can say like, Hey, to one of your sideline sisters or one of your friends, um, if you're going to talk about a plus sign product, can you tag me in it? Because I don't have any, or you can forego this piece this week and just talk about one of the three steps that you have on hand and you can reach out to your upline and see if they can send you one plus sign item, just one. It doesn't have to be like a whole box. It can be like one thing of chill or one thing of heat or one thing of rest or whatever they might have personally on hand and say like, hey, would you be willing to send me one plus line product so that I can highlight it in my content? They're not gonna say no. They're not gonna say no. And if they don't have anything, they'll reach up. And if they don't reach up, you reach up because it's important that I think when you feel like comfortable enough, like if your leader isn't giving you what you need or not saying that they're a bad person, but they just don't have the resources themselves. It's okay for you to get comfortable with reaching out to somebody that's above them. Not as like, you're trying to step on toes, but you're just trying to utilize all your resources. So sharing a plus sign product in your stories. Thursday, Thrive. Interview another Thriver, if you can, and have them share their story. I, th- I just t- told my team this last week. I was like, I think we just need to get back to simple things, like just sharing our Thrive experience on a consistent basis on live or bringing other people on to share their stories because maybe the way somebody else shares their story might relate to somebody within your friends list. And they're able to hear that it's not just you, it's somebody else. So if you can find somebody to interview, I would highly encourage it or go live and share your own personal experience. Your niche, teach something that would benefit others related to your niche. I try to make sure that I'm educating my audience at least twice a week as far as, um, my specific niche, um, just because I want to keep them coming back. I don't want my, your page isn't about you. Never. Like as much as we share like pictures of our family and, um, pictures of the things that we're doing, the purpose of our page should be other people. We're not creating content for ourselves. We're creating content for other people to give them information, inspiration, educate them or inspire them. And the more that you can realize that I need to create stuff that it's not just about me. It's about the people that are my friends and the people that are following me. So teaching something related to your niche in any form that you can, it can be reels. It can be going on a Facebook live. Well, if you went live and interviewed somebody, I probably wouldn't suggest that to go live twice in a day, but then for you, it would probably be like a picture or um, a post or something like that. Anything you can do to educate stories 
What are you thankful for that this, pro- that the product or business has given you talking about it? So using your words <laughs> in your face to talk about it. And it can be something super fast as much as like when I'm talking in my stories, I try, unless I'm truly like getting in depth in in a specific topic, that's educating my audience. I try not to come on and just ramble about myself. So if I'm talking about something that I'm thankful for with the product or the business, it's super fast. It's like taking a quick snapshot of my crazy, insane, busy, or messy house at times and being like, well, thank goodness I have this today because I will be able to clean this all up or talking about how you're tired in the morning or you're going to some event and you're thankful that you'll have this to help you with your patients to get you through it or whatever, anything super fast, quick hitting one slide or less. Well, it can't be less than one slide. So one slide, <laughs> one slide of information, try not to draw it out. Any, the only time that I ever draw out multiple slides where I'm talking to somebody is if I'm educating them because people tune out within like seven seconds, if it's not intriguing, we have really short attention spans nowadays. And if you can't capture somebody's attention right away because it's going to benefit them, they're going to tune out. So if you're just sitting there talking about your entire day and your stories, you're like, today we're going to the park and then we're going to go do this. And then we're going to go do that. And then this happened to me and that happened to me. People are like, huh? Like, I'm not listening to all that garbage. I don't have time. Not that your life is garbage, but you know what I mean? So make it super fast. Um, Friday, Friday, thrive sample post or poll sample poll in your stories. So if you're going to create a sample post, you can also do it in your stories. I think that's a good way to hit people that only watch for posts and for people to that only like tune into stories. Cause there are people like that. Um, a sample post can be multiple different ways. It's super, it can be super simple. Like if I were to send you three days of Thrive, would you take it correctly and give me your feedback? It can be a picture and saying like, I'm packing up samples this weekend, drop a heart if you want one. It can be a giveaway. I usually only do giveaways like once a month. I think I'll probably do like a Halloween giveaway the end of next week, um, like a Halloween pack. And I'll have like black labels and like all the Halloween colors. So like vanilla shakes and blah. Anyways, so I'll do like a Halloween giveaway maybe this week, Friday. That might be a good idea. Niche, real or live video related to your niche. The the reason that I'm like emphasizing reels and live videos is because I know that a lot of people are super fearful of doing them. But this is where the growth in your business will happen. If you feel like you've been stuck in your business and there is something that you know you haven't done yet, that's usually the thing that's going to progress you forward. So like if you've been doing live videos and like now you're all of a sudden stuck, it might be time for you to try a reel because um, I personally have noticed like a big dip in my live video views, unfortunately. And I don't know why that is. And I think it's just because short form video as in reels has become so popular reels and TikToks. So people are going away from like sitting and actually watching a whole live video. Um, I think it's still important to incorporate it, even though there is that downtick because there will still be people that will find value in that. But whatever that thing is. So if you've never gone live before and you feel like you're stuck, it's time for you to go live. If you've been going live on a consistent basis, it might be time for you to do a reel. And here's the thing. You're never going to get better at it if you don't even try. It's never going to feel comfortable. I explained, I, I did, I think a post about this. Like, are we really ready for anything in our life when it comes? Like, are you ready for parenthood? Like, you're like, I got this. I know exactly how to change a diaper. I know how I'm going to feed a kid. I know like what they need when they're crying before they're even born. No clue. You have no idea at all. And like, do you know like a job when you first come onto it? No, like you might know the trade, but you're not going to know what that specific company needs for you to do in their specific way. We're never truly prepared for anything in our life. 
And if you're waiting for the time for you to feel like prepared and confident to take that step, you're going to be sitting on it forever. So here's the thing. You just got to get started and it's going to be messy at first and that's okay. Um, that's how we learn. There are no failures. The only time you truly, truly ever fail is when you just give up it all together. There are, there are reels that I do now that get like a hundred views sometimes. And then I get some that do like 7,000 and I'm like, mm, they probably didn't like the way that I did this one. So I need to like reformat it and try it diff a, a different way. Or if I get ones that have lots of them, lots of views, I'm like, okay, this is the type of real that people tend to like it looks like so i'm going to make more like that it's how you learn it's how you assess your audience it's how you get better and more comfortable is just rep repetition doing it over and over again and you're never going to grow in that experience if you don't even try so that's why i'm emphasizing live videos and reels so so much because it is a tool of growth for you and your business that you need to take that step in because people need to get to know you and if all your people are watching reels and you're over here doing posts still, you're missing the boat with your people. You need to get, jump on that boat. So, um, stories talk about how you're packing up samples or sending them out. Even if you don't have any to do, I just say like, I'm packing up samples. Here's, here's what's in them. This, 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 if you want one, let me know. And then I usually give them the option of like, I need energy or I need focus. Cause you know, like our standard samples will probably give them one or both. Or I say, if I have like specific ones that I'm customizing, I'll do like appetite control or I'm moody or I snack all the time and I'm moody. Never give them option of no. Um, because if you, here's the thing. The reason I always say like Friday samples, either you're talking about it in your stories or posts or both is because you've spent this entire week from Monday talking about these different aspects of the product, showing how you're, you're um, taking these products on a consistent basis. Maybe you're, you are doing like where you're taking people that are in your team. So they're seeing other walks of life do it too. And then when you come in, so you're peaking interest, peaking interest, peaking interest all week. Then when you come in on a, a Friday, for posts, for whatever reason, like mid afternoon seems to be a really good time. Like people have hit like the lunch wall and, but they're not quite like checked out for the weekend yet. So like usually two to three, maybe even four o'clock is when I find a really good time to post that, those sample ones. But so you're doing all that intrigue up to that. And then you're like, Hey, if you want to try this, like I have it, if you want to try it, I can send you one. And then you have the whole weekend to kind of like pack it up, get their payment and ship it out like Monday or whatever. So that's the whole thought process about around that. Saturday, I don't, I don't touch on Sundays just so you know. Um, for me, it's like my social media checkout day. Personally, um, I feel like you need that refreshing sometimes. <laughs> Otherwise you can feel like, A, you'll start getting from like your kids or your family or your significant other you're, like, you're always on your phone and for your own mental health like if you're constantly in the world of social media and you feel like you're always like I need to I need to hustle hustle rush rush produce 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 you can burn out real fast so for me Sundays are a day of reflection that is my personal time to like just disconnect as much as possible I might show up in my stories but only if I feel like I want to it's not like I'm feeling pressured like I have to do this this should be obviously something that should be fun for you um but it's not out of obligation for my business because I'm like if I want to I will but most of the day my phone is away from me so Saturday I think this should be like a really light day too um not a ton of people are going to be checked in on a Saturday I know that we have promos that drop on Saturday. So I think it's important if you're going to be present within your business on a Saturday, it's in messenger as much as possible, talking to the people that are your current customers, talking to people that are interested, getting people samples out, whatever. Um, but as far as your post go, people aren't, unless like the morning maybe, but typically not in the afternoon, in the evening um, on their phones all day long. So how is Thrive getting you through your weekend? That's your Thrive post or your Thrive story. 
and then your niche keep it fun and simple as much as possible so this can just be like a quick quote that you share that has to deal with your niche it can be um just a picture of what you're doing it can be anything like super fast and simple that it that isn't going to require a lot of people to read a lot or to like stay on and watch something for a long period of time so that's what i would suggest for your niche and then stories just letting people into your life that's what your story shouldn't be compiled of just thrive stuff all the time um it should be letting people into your life like i think since, since you're kind of like the world is going to this place of like, I'm done with feeling like I'm being sold to on a daily basis. And I just want like my time to be on social media to be valuable. And so like, we're focusing on a niche and educating people on our posts. Your stories is where you introduce your life and the things that you're doing and whatever it is that you have that will help somebody as far as the products or the business goes the business, the posts and stuff like that, that should be people, things that are helping people that are drawing them in, that are keeping on your page. Your story should show like, this is how my kids operate on a daily basis. Like here's my crazy dogs. That's like where the quote unquote five things that people talk about. That's where you can highlight that. If you posted your five things on your page all the time, you would look like a schizophrenic. Like you would be like, today we're talking about dogs. Tomorrow we're talking about kids. Then we're going to talk about how we read the Bible. And then we're going to talk about the next day, um, how to meal prep, like, where are you going and what is going on? And I don't understand, but your stories that just shows the backstage pass to your life. So you can like show how crazy your dogs are being. So then people get a way to engage with you about dogs. If they have them too, if you're showing how crazy your kids are, they will like engage with that. But if all you're doing is posting Thrive stuff in your stories, I explain this like probably a billion times and I'm sure you're super annoyed with my reference, but gross, there is a box of bug on my door. Oh, I'm so sick of them. Anyways, I just looked at my door because this is the reference I'm making. <laughs> so you're, if you're just posting about Thrive all the time, it's like a door without a doorknob. You're not giving them the opportunity to open that door because if only you're only talking about your products, there's nothing that they can do to engage with you. But if you're showing like, if you're asking them personal questions with like a poll series, so like, what, what do you recommend? What do you like better? Like yesterday I was like, we're going to the apple orchard tomorrow. Do you like ap the apple orchard or do you like going to the pumpkin patch more? Um, or you're just like talking about certain things or like asking for advice, like in a face-to-face, -face, like my, my daughter won't go to bed. Like, what do you suggest? And then dropping a question box. It allows people to use the door handle on the door to open it into potentially peeking in what you have to offer them. But if you're only, oh my gosh, I hate them so much too. It's not even funny. And they're everywhere. Ugh, they're so nasty. Anyways, <laughs> but that you need to allow them to have a way for them to engage with you. And if all you're doing is posting about Thrive, like, yeah, you might pique their interest sometimes if they're experiencing a day where they are really lacking energy or they are really um, having a financial hardship or like whatever it is that would pique their interest in the business. But if that's the only time you're gonna be able to open that door is if it's depending so much upon them, why not take it back and showcase your life, show how you're a human, just like them, show how you have like things that you struggle with or funny things that happen or whatever it's as an outlet for them to engage and come into you. So that's, that's stories are the way to do that. Um, and if you're providing information to people, it allows them to engage back and forth when they have questions. It's just the best way to attract people into your business. So I always post my stuff to my story every day. Yep, I do. And tag my teams, my team members, and maybe some of my friends. Um, but, and here's the thing I want to talk about real quick, and then we can wrap up and be done, is that I had one of my girls reach out to me the other day, and she's like, I just feel like I'm posting the same thing in my stories about my products all the time, like I'm repetitive. And you guys, I will highlight like different ones some days, maybe some days I'll highlight all three, but I always do at least one of my steps in my stories in different ways. So like this morning I was like, I'm, I'm, I just made my vanilla or 
pumpkin spice mix and we're going to the apple orchard. So like, I know I'm going to need this patience that this patch gives me. Like, that's all I talked about the day before I talked about, um, I can't remember if it was capsules. I think it was capsules, like capsules to get me up early in the morning to prepare for this birthday, like whatever, like whatever is relatable to your day. But I know you can feel like you're being repetitive sometimes, but here's the thing. It takes usually a minimum of 10 to 12 exposures before people even get interested (laughs) at all whatsoever, 10 to 12 times. So if they're not viewing your stories every day, like think about how many times they would need to see that. It might be weeks. And let's say one day they pop on and you are talking about it. And then the next day they pop on and you're not. They're like, are you even consistently taking your products that you talk about? And then also what happens if they reach that pain point of no return where they're like, I'm ready. And you don't even show up and show your product on your stories that day. They're like, hmm. Well, I better find somebody else. I don't even know if she's still doing it because like what we always assume that people are always watching your stuff all the time when sometimes it's usually like they'll occasionally sporadically check in with our stuff. Maybe your posts aren't populating in their page because it's usually only shown to about 3% of your audience. So your consistency is so important as much as you feel like it might be redundant. Sometimes it is needed. It, it shows that you're reliable it, if they're going to join your business. It shows that you are actually a product of the product. It shows that you're, it helps you every single day with something. And so like, don't just take the whole repetitive thing out of your brain. I will even, if I'm having like a block where I'm like, I don't even know what to say about my products today. I feel like I've said everything. I will go into my stories archive and pull one from a while ago. Like, I'll just do that. <laughs> if I just don't feel inspired for the day. So I hope that this was helpful. I've been trying to keep up to see if there's any questions as we've been going so that I'm not, we're not having to just be on here more time than necessary, but same time, same place next Saturday. Um, I will get the recording up within 10 to 15 minutes. And thank you all you guys for taking time out of your precious day to be here with me today. I hope it was valuable to me, to you guys. And I love you.